Welcome back my little art friends. Today you are gonna need your primary colors. And if you remember, we learned what those were last week. Those are the colors that mix to make everything. Red, yellow, and blue. You're also gonna need a piece of paper, a pencil, a couple brushes, a water cup for cleaning your brush, and a towel. Let's get started. First things first, every artist puts their name on their paper. So make sure you write your name on the back of your paper. And I always like to write what I'm learning about. So right now we're learning about color. That is C-O-L-O-R. We're learning about color and how colors mix. So what I'm gonna do is turn my paper over and I'm gonna draw just a few simple shapes. And those simple shapes are gonna lay out our entire picture. First things first, I'm going to draw an, a circle-ish shape in the middle. And I want to call it circle-ish because it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. In fact, it's going to turn into a pumpkin. So I'm going to draw a circle-ish shape in the middle of my paper. So now we've got our pumpkin. We need to make a line for our grass and a line for our sky. There's a line. It's called the horizon line and it separates your ground and your sky. So here I have my horizon line, which means everything above it is sky and everything below it is ground. Press pause on your video now and draw your circle and your horizon line. Well, I only have three colors, red, yellow, and blue. How in the world am I gonna make a pumpkin picture where I need grass that's green, a pumpkin that should probably be orange, and my sky that I wanna make purple. This is where color mixing comes into play. Watch what I'm gonna to do to make my pumpkin. To mix the color orange, you use yellow and red. So I'm gonna take both yellow and red and put them in the middle of my pumpkin. I can mix those up right there in the middle and what do you think is gonna happen? I'm gonna get orange. Well, great, now I fixed that problem. I'm gonna go ahead and paint my pumpkin orange. Press pause on your video, make your orange and color in your pumpkin. I can take my brush and I can wipe off any extra paint I have on my brush before I wash it. And now that my brush is clean, let's think to ourselves, what two colors mix together to make the color green? Well, we already know that yellow mixed with red makes orange. What do you think yellow mixed with blue might make? It is gonna be green. So I'm gonna take some yellow paint on my brush, put it on my paper and some blue paint on my brush and put it on my paper. I'm gonna mix those two colors in and see what happens. That's a great green color. I'm gonna paint everything under my horizon line green for my grass. all your grass. I'm gonna wipe my paintbrush off and dry it off really good. And then I have to do my sky. Now, of course, I could just paint my sky blue. That would make sense, but we're color mixing, so we can't use blue. Well, let's see, we've already mixed red and yellow together to make orange, yellow and blue together 
to make green, what do you think is going to happen if I mix blue and red together? We're going to get purple. So I'm going to take some red paint and some blue paint, and I'm going to mix those two together to make a dark purple sky. I'm going to paint everything above my horizon line in purple. sky purple. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to wipe it off. Wash it off really good and I'm going to switch from a flat brush to a round brush and the way you know the difference is a flat brush the metal is pinched so that all the bristles lay flat. A round brush the metal is round so that all the bristles stay in a circle like that. So we now know that we mix yellow with blue, we get green. Blue with red, we get purple. Red with yellow, we get orange. But what happens if we mix all three colors together? Well, let's check it out. On my paint palette, I'm gonna add yellow, red, and blue. Hmm, do you have any guesses what's gonna happen? Let's see. That's right, we get brown. You know what's brown on a pumpkin? His stalk. I can make my pumpkin's stalk brown. I can even add a couple of curved lines to make my pumpkin look more realistic. And since I already have my paint on my paint palette, I can use the back of my paintbrush to put a couple of dots in the sky for stars. What other details can you think about adding to your pumpkin? Thanks for color mixing with me today, friends. Be sure that you take a picture of your artwork and post it on our Facebook page. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, stay creative, stay kind, and stay safe. Bye, guys.